I joined the Labour Party. But it's really important to see that the Dairy Labour Party, only the word is the same as any Labour Party you can imagine now. Mm -hmm. You know, then it was a, I, maybe only a third of it, if, if that, or put it another way, two thirds of it considered themselves revolutionary socialists. And the party was a tremendous organisation, meeting every week, big debates every week, you know, running candidates for elections on a programme that was against capitalism and all. In the 70s, the, like, in the late 60s in Derry, the Labour Party and the Young Socialists were the, it was the biggest organisation here. In the 1970 election, I think it was, the Northern Ireland Labour Party got a, a what was it? the biggest swing in votes was to the Northern Ireland Labour Party, which is really surprising because people forget that. And uh, in 1969 in Southern Ireland, there was a significant swing to the Labour Party. So there was a swing to the left, which was reflected in those parties at that time, and young socialist sections were developed in those parties. Now. Throughout the 70s, those parties still uh, uh, still continued to have life. A left wing, a centre, a right wing with big debates inside and with life within them. And uh, they... Uh, but gradually, over a period of time, because of... Like, if you take the Northern Ireland Labour Party, they decided the Protestants are a majority, we go for the majority. They, their secretary came to me. We had a Labour Party in Straban and a Young Socialist branch in Straban. About 1971 or 72, their, their secretary came to me in Straban and asked me to be a full-time organiser for that party under a few conditions. One condition, that I wouldn't support Bernadette Devlin in the coming election, which was unthinkable. And uh, to recognize the union with Britain was priority. You know, so they decided to make their party a sectarian unionist party. And of course they just collapsed because the best Protestant workers wouldn't vote for them either. And the Catholic vote for them. So the Southern Irish Labour Party, they decided to go into a coalition with Fine Gael, which is a right-wing capitalist party, and there was a lot of very good workers in that party in the early 70s. They just left and walked away. Many of them went to the Provos. Some of them went to the split off from the Provos, the Workers' Party, Sinn Féin, the Workers' Party. And so the Labour Parties both declined dramatically. And Northern Ireland, really, there's no Labour Party at the minute. The British Labour Party has taken a vote recently to start organising in Northern Ireland. And in Southern Ireland, the uh, Sinn Féin, the Workers' Party, sort of disappeared. A chunk of its political membership joined the Labour Party and now are the leadership of the Labour Party and are always attacking the provosts for having an armed wing. When they used to have an armed... I mean, it's just... So, in terms of the mass left movement in Ireland at the moment, there's nothing. The other big problem I would say in Ireland at the moment is that there are some small left groups like the Socialist Party, the Socialist Workers Party and there are thousands of people in Ireland in their 40s, 50s and 60s and younger who consider themselves anti-capitalist, revolutionary socialist, some kind of standing for an alternative but they can't find a place to go. And one of the big reasons for that, in my opinion, is what I call left sectarianism. A lot of people would join the Socialist Party, the Socialist Workers Party, the Socialist, uh, uh, there was a group up here for a while, what is it? Socialist Environmental Alliance. But a lot of people have seen in the past, and I have seen it in the past, and I've been part of it in the past, and I've been responsible for some part of it in the past. I've seen that all these revolutionary left groups become left sectarian and are not, they don't have room within them for a debate, discussion. They squeeze the life out of their membership. And I think that's, that's something that I've been trying to take up in the last couple of years that 
any revolutionary socialist movement has to have on its agenda a struggle against left sectarianism.